My name is Peter Deacon. I'm the Vice President of Technical Services for Aquapulse Systems in Van Nuys, California, a chlorine dioxide technology company. Chlorine dioxide is a unique chemical, a pure gas. It dissolves in water but does not react with water. It is a selective oxidizer, two and a half times more powerful than chlorine, and is effective over a wide pH range. Its use in water treatment has grown since 1944 when it was first used in potable water treatment for taste and odor control. It is a wide spectrum oxidizer that it does not form significant disinfection byproducts. Some of the pathogens and organisms of uh, concern that chlorine dioxide has been found to be effective against are algae, fungus, fungal gnats, powdery mildew, root rot pathogens, pythophora, pythium, and fusarium. Greenhouse water systems can benefit from chlorine dioxide uh, due to its low dose requirements to handle biomass, uh, algae, and some of the um, pathogens that we just previously mentioned. It's a powerful water sanitizer used extensively in, in potable water treatment uh, in the U.S. and uh, in Europe. It's an oxidizer, two and a half times more effective than chlorine, and ten times more soluble in water than chlorine. It provides low sodium and low chloride residuals after reaction. There is no hydrophilic substitution reactions. It does not form trihalomethanes. It will not react with ammonia to form chloramines and it, it's very effective over a very wide pH range. Chlorine dioxide is not pH dependent. Um, as the chart shows, water treated with chlorine uh, with acid addition for pH control between 6.8 and 7.2, which are the effective ranges for, for pH control, you can see that chlorine dioxide is effective from range uh, P, from pH 6 to pH 10 without any acid addition or pH control. Biofilm removal is one of the major um, uses for chlorine dioxide. It's very effective uh, in penetrating the biofilm and uh, as a dissolved gas in water it penetrates the, uh, the cell wall without disrupting it or breaking it down as does chlorine. There are, there are several methods for making chlorine dioxide. The three chemical generator method, the two chemical acidified sodium chloride, a sachet bag generation, uh, two chemical powders, and a smaller dose uh, tablet format. The two chemical process uh, combines sodium chloride with hydrochloric acid, 15%, uh, and is about 80% efficient, as you can see from the reaction equation. The three chemical process utilizes sodium chloride, sodium hypochlorite, and hydrochloric acid. And, is, and efficiencies approaching 100% can be achieved uh, by the reaction process. The oxidation of chlorine dioxide uh, follows the same uh, uh, formula that you can see uh, in, the, in the slide. Generators come in all different shapes and sizes. Uh, these are the uh, three chemical systems on the left-hand side where you uh, make chlorine dioxide instantly and it's stored in, in a small tank, as you can see at the bottom of the frame. From that tank, uh, the chlorine dioxide that can then be metered uh, accurately to the point of application. On the right, you see the two chemical systems, again, which produce chlorine dioxide very efficiently and very effectively uh, again, discharging into a tank from where it can be distributed to the points of application. The three chemical system uh, actually combines the three chemicals, sodium chloride 25%, sodium hypochlorite 12.5%, and 15% hydrochloric acid together in a water stream uh, causing a, a, a vacuum that pulls the chemicals in together. This is infinitely safe system uh, since the, the water, should it shut off, will stop pulling the chemicals in and stop making chlorine dioxide. The chlorine dioxide is safely rotated to a batch tank from where it's distributed to the process. 
There's a correlation between uh, oxidation reduction potential and dose rate for, for chlorine. Um, as you can see from this chart, uh, precise dosing is capable using ORP control for, um, for most water, water systems. Approved for drinking water, chlorine dioxide can be used to treat incoming water from your local municipality to ensure the complete protective program from incoming water to uh, outgoing wastewater. Thank you.